Hi, and welcome to another Bantam Tools Getting Started Project Overview. As always, check out the website at bantamtools.com for in-depth details on this and other projects. Let's dive in. We decided to get fancy, so we'll be using aluminum and brass. We made our design with these fasteners in mind and using Fusion 360's built-in integration with McMaster Car, we're able to drop 3D models of them directly into Fusion, really speeding up the design process. Measure the thickness of each piece of stock and take note of it. You'll need it later. We'll mill the aluminum side first. To mount the stock inside the mill, we recommend installing the spoil board accessory upgrade. It provides more surface area for tape mounting. To maximize rigidity and get a smoother surface finish, use super glue and tape. Clean the stock and spoil board, then cover both with tape. Do not leave any gaps. Place the glue evenly on the spoil board. This glue includes an activator for quick setting. If you use a spray, make sure to spray it on the stock outside of the mill. Use a parallel or other straight edge to help align the stock. Since each side is milled in one setup, it's okay if it's not absolutely perfect. Place one of the wrenches that comes with the mill so that it's touching the stock and an exposed portion of the bed. This creates a conductive loop and allows you to locate the stock in the mill using conductive probing. Enter the stock dimensions and perform the conductive probing routine. The reported Z height will probably be greater than what you measured earlier. That's okay. In this setup, it includes the glue and tape thickness. The thickness you measured earlier will need to be entered into Fusion before generating the G-code for the project. Load the G-code files into the Bantam Tools desktop milling machine software, assign the appropriate tools, and begin milling. You'll use a 6mm flat end mill for roughing and contour operations, and a 6mm ball end mill for the finishing pass. When one side is finished, repeat the process for the other side. You can remove the stock from the mill using a little rubbing alcohol to dissolve the adhesive and a putty knife to gently lift the piece out of the mill. Pass them both sides together with your keys in between, using a spring on the empty post to maintain pressure. Again, for more details, check out the full guide at bantamtools.com.